A coward dies a thousand deaths, the gallant never taste of death but once. I love treason but hate a traitor. It is not these well-fed, long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry-looking. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. And when the drums of war have reached a fever pitch and the blood boils with hate and the mind is closed, the leader will have no need in seizing the rights of the citizenry. Rather, the citizenry, infused with fear and blinded by patriotism, will offer up all of their rights unto the leader and do it gladly so. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often interred with their bones. People readily believe what they want to believe. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. The things that we want, we willingly believe, and the things that we think we expect everyone else to think. It is easier to find men who will volunteer to die than to find those who are willing to endure pain with patience. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends and the supplications of those in want of my assistance. Which death is preferably to every other, the unexpected? In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. In extreme danger, fear feels no pity. It is the custom of the immortal gods to grant temporary prosperity and a fairly long period of impunity to those whom they plan to punish for their crimes so that they may feel it all the more keenly as a result of the change in their fortunes. It's only hubris if I fail. Wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. It is better to suffer once than to be in perpetual apprehension. Men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. Without training, they lacked knowledge. Without knowledge, they lacked confidence. Without confidence, they lacked victory. If I fail, it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. Experience is the teacher of all things. Men at some time are masters of their fates. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. I would rather be first in a barbarian village than second at Rome. In war, events of importance are the result of trivial causes. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. Men's minds tend to fear more keenly those things that are absent. You also, O oh son Brutus. 
No one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected. If you must break the law, do it to seize power. In all other cases, observe it. You cannot change yesterday. Many of you wished me dead. Many of you perhaps still do, but I hold no grudges and seek no revenge. I demand only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome, a Rome that offers justice, peace and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. Support me in this task, and old divisions will be forgotten. Oppose me, and Rome will not forgive you a second time. Senators, the war is over. The die has been cast. Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. It is the right of war for conquerors to treat those whom they have conquered according to their pleasure. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. He conquers twice who shows mercy to the conquered. Fortune, which has a great deal of power in other matters, but especially in war, can bring about great changes in a situation through very slight forces. I love the name of honor more than I fear death. I am prepared to resort to anything, to submit to anything, for the sake of the Commonwealth. Beer, a high and mighty liquor. All Gaul is divided into three parts, one of which the Belgae inhabit, the Aquitani another. Those who in their own language are called Celts, in ours Gauls the third. Men willingly believe whatever they wish. I came, I saw, I conquered. What we wish, we readily believe, and what we ourselves think, we imagine others think also. I have lived long enough to satisfy both nature and glory. I have always reckoned the dignity of the Republic of first importance and preferable to life. War gives the right to the conquerors to impose any condition they please upon the vanquished. As a rule, men worry more about what they can't see than about what they can. The Celts were fearless warriors because they wished to inculcate this as one of their leading tenets, that souls do not become extinct, but pass after death from one body to another. Arms and laws do not flourish together. Avoid an unusual and unfamiliar word just as you would a reef. Our men must win or die. Pompey's men have other options. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. Cowards die many times before their actual deaths. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.